Good morning, children of class eight. Today uh, we are going to deal with the first chapter of chemistry, which is matter and its composition. The very quest first question that arises is, what is matter? All that surrounds us is matter, like pen, water, rocks. and even we human beings are matter if we define matter it can be defined as anything which occupies space has mass and can be sensed by any one or more of the five physical senses like taste sight smell hearing and touch here are some properties or characteristics of matter it has mass or carries some weight the second property is it occupies volume or space and the third property of matter is it can be sensed or felt by our physical senses as described earlier let it let us take some other examples like heat sound magnetism love hate shadow etc these are all examples which are not matter because they do not have mass or they occupy any space Let us come to the states of matter. There are three states of matter, namely solid, liquid, or gas. Liquid and gas are fluid states of matter, as these can flow in certain direction. Liquids and gases, for example, can be poured from one vessel to another due to their fluid state. the physical states of matter can be interchanged by heating or cooling for example let us take solid solid is defined as the state of matter which has a definite shape size volume and mass for example ice or iron weight etc the second state of matter is liquid liquid is defined as that form of matter which has definite mass and volume only but no definite shape it takes or acquires the shape of container in which it is filled so we see that whichever shape of the container liquid is filled it takes the shape of that container example water milk etc the third state of matter is gas a gas is defined as form of matter which has neither definite shape nor volume but has a definite mass for example water vapor or air which we can see in this balloon like polythene bag this is an example of gas these three states of matter solid liquid and vapor these are interchangeable for example solids they if we take the example of ice solids can melt into water liquid water and this liquid water can then vaporize when it is heated to water vapor 
we also see vice versa that the water vapor can be condensed when it is cooled to liquid water to the liquid state and this liquid water when it freezes it can change to ice which is the solid state also we see solids like iodine and naphthalene which straight away change their state from solid to vapor on heating this process is known as sublimation and likewise we see when iodine vapors come up on heating they solidify on the walls of the glass container now let us see the kinetic theory of matter what does the word kinetic mean the word speaks of movement or motion so kinetic speaks about movement or motion now all states of matter is made up of large number of extremely small particles called molecules these molecules are closely packed in solids there is no space between the molecules of solid likewise in liquids we see that the molecules have got more space between them so the molecules of a liquid are not so tightly bound in the third state we see the gas molecules they move freely because they have lot of space between them and they move far apart from each other and we see that the molecules are always in a state of constant random motion they are in rapid random motion in all possible directions due to their motion and mass the molecules possess kinetic energy there are attractive forces between the molecules the attractive forces between the molecules of same kind are called cohesive forces whereas the attractive forces between the molecules of different kinds are called adhesive forces if we increase the temperature the kinetic energy of molecules increases for example when we fill a balloon tightly with air and leave it in the sun the heat energy of the sun increases the temperature of the air inside the balloon and this increases the kinetic energy of molecules and the balloons burst this children you must have seen when you blow balloons for your birthday parties as the distance between the molecules increases the magnitude or the extent of attractive forces between the molecules decreases and so these molecules are free to move into the excess space that is available to them thank you for today's class we will have the next class in which we will study about the distinction between the three different states of matter